Hi, my name is Ray Doom. I'm with the Winnipeg Police Service Road Patrol Unit. I'd like to welcome everybody down to the forks here. We're, we're doing Safe Boating Awareness Week. I'd like to talk to you guys shortly about basically some of the equipment that we're looking for out of the waterway. First thing we're looking for is a life jacket. There's three things that we look for in a life jacket. The first being that it be Canadian approved. And that's going to be on the back side of the garment. So when you buy one of these, make sure it's Canadian approved or Department of Transport approved. The other item that we're looking for in regards to the life jacket is that it fits the intended person. If it doesn't fit the person, it's not going to work for them. And the last thing we're looking for is that it be in good working order. So if the zippers on the garment are, are broken, or if it's ripped, or torn, or weathered, you should replace them. Another item that we're looking for, if you have fixed fuel tanks on your boat, or you have an inboard boat motor or a cooking device, you must have a 5BC fire extinguisher. Another item that we're looking for is a manual propelling device or a paddle or oar. You can either have that or you can have, in place of that, you can have an anchor. Anchor must have 15 meters of line attached to it. And this is going to hold your position if you have a breakdown. Another item that actually encompasses a few of the things is basically this container which can act as a baler. Open it and open it up here. It's also got a watertight flashlight. It's got 15 meters of floatable line. Also inside is a whistle or a sounding device, all required on your small vessel. Another thing that we're also looking for is an operator's card. Everybody who's out on the waterway must have an operator's card to operate a vessel. And finally, I'd like to wish everybody a safe boating season. And if, and if you come across us, we're out there to help.